here comes Ruby. Check last night and she was still a safety score of 100. Elon did say that the next batch of people added would be added with 10.3 whenever that is. So um, I'm not really expecting to be added soon. A week, two weeks, however long it takes them to get that 10.3 ready. So just try to maintain my score. That's all I can do, right? There's Tux. There's Dawn. <laughs> Stripes at my feet, and Marty and Morris are doing good too this morning. It's quite comfortable out here again. Gonna be downright chilly this weekend though, then I'll be complaining it's too too cold. These guys are gonna get the Royal Canaan CD this morning. Hopefully they'll eat it. Mm, Panther's not here this morning. I'm not happy. That usually means he got into a fight with somebody. Not good. Hopefully he'll be along shortly. I don't need anybody else to worry about today. All right, there's Panther. He's no worse for wear. Just a little tentative. Well, I see where Tux and Marty are. I don't know where the boys went. Everybody roams more when it starts to get chilly. Like I said, That'll be one good thing about it getting colder. They'll just get in the heating pad and they won't want to leave. Good morning, Ruby. traffic right now I'll take it we are on target to be there at least five to seven minutes earlier than we have been the last few days that could be a contributing factor it's 63 out there and looks like it's gonna be a sunny day so are any of you guys in the Northeast seeing um, the northern lights down uh, you know lower than normal I have a friend up in Alberta, Canada, and she frequently sees them, but says that this recent um, electromagnetic storm has created some of the most beautiful um, night displays that she's seen in quite some time. And I know some of the news media was saying that people as far south as New York might be able to see them. So I'm just wondering if anybody, um, if anybody saw, saw them this week. The color looks so promising this morning. I was really hoping downtown would be lit up, but um, part of the problem is, is all the colors to the right. And then the rest of the problem is, is that it's just really more foggy than it is pretty this morning, I guess. Oh well, another day. As we approach the time change, um, Sometimes it gets to be where I try to get up on top of one of the parking decks to watch the sunrise. Right now, um, I'm going to be dropping off right at the official sunrise, but in a few more days, another week before the change, there'll be a small window where um, I'll have Johnny dropped off and maybe enough time to get up uh, on the parking deck. Well, Johnny's got his suit for his business class today. Remember, he's got to dress up every Thursday. And he has a presentation in said class about the major project for the class. I guess they're getting started with a 20-page paper, and he is um, having to present ideas about what he's doing. And he also has a math test today. 
So no rest for the rear weary after the PSAT that he took yesterday. He's gonna have a pretty full day today. I'm sure we all hope he does well. He's pretty tired this morning. We're all pretty tired. It's the, you know, weekday school day grind. We're driving Ruby today. I intentionally didn't pull her up close to the grass. The guys are here with the mowers, but we chat with them and they promise me they point the other way when they go past Ruby and I think it's fine. He said they're here to do the woods. Oh, okay. They're going to go down and have some fun in the woods. Well, if they come by and they mow, it'll be okay, too. I guess they're getting ready for that hunting. Maybe. But they have been mowing, making sure they're pointed away from the vehicles. So we're good either way. And she's not very close to the curb. Don has a... 9.30 our time conference call and then uh, as soon as he's off that one he's got another we got to be back by 10 our time and it's currently 8.38 so we're good we're not usually more than an hour yeah, yeah. hour and five minutes at the most over here at South Park anyway so we should be good we didn't dawdle this morning when I got back to the house we, we moved quick that sure is pretty that light is really making some lines coming down there and everything. Wow. All right. We've been around one time. I'm warmed up sufficiently now. It's like 62 out here. And when we were walking up the trail, you could feel pockets of warm and cold. And the air was like trying to mix. Coming in from where the sun was breaking through and moving into the shady areas, vice versa. It was mixing a little bit. You could actually feel that sensation this morning. It's kind of interesting. Haven't heard from the vet yet. If I haven't heard by the time I get back to the house, I'll call. But uh, unless there was an emergency, even if they decided to do um, the surgery, I don't think they would do it until in the middle of the day. So, but we'll see. No news is okay news so far. Right? Right. The vet called, Don's conference call started, and the guys were mowing up at the park all at one time, and it just got really hectic, and I was worried about, you know, Don's people, they heard me because I was on the phone with the vet, and it was just a disaster there for a few minutes. But at any point, um, the area on the x-ray that the vet was worried about being an obstruction has moved some. Um, so she wants to send her home and play it by ear. Her temperature is normal after the round of antibiotics in the IV. She won't eat up there. Um, they're trying. They asked me for the second time, you know, what to try. So chicken flavored, really wet canned food, probably. Uh, chunky or pate if you break it up a little bit. And because, you know, we, we use the spoon to add a little water, flip it over for the fussy cats. You know, we do stuff here. <laughs> I'm sure they know all the tricks. And we'll play it by ear and if she comes home and she starts throwing up again then we'll have to go back and they're probably just going to want to do the exploratory but um it doesn't sound like bad news at least it doesn't sound like bad news and the cats on the front porch seem to eat the cd this morning so the stuff the bladder um easy on the bladder i guess canned food so that was good i'll try the other three cans that i have but um i may switch them to that and um, I'm going to pick up Mittens on the way home with Johnny at 3. When we come back through town, we'll go. We'll pick her up. She wanted to leave her on the IV until noon. And I said, well, how about we just make it 3? Because that would be a really convenient time to go pick Mittens up. Um, versus run back out to town at noon and then back to the house and then back out to get Johnny. And I might go to Guardian Angel a little early. But still, that's out and go versus constant back and forth up and down those roads here in town. Plus a couple more hours on the IV. I guess honestly, I was hoping that would do nothing but continue to help mittens. So uh, yeah, and that way also too, when she comes home, we can put her in the green room with Johnny, and he'll be around to comfort her after her trauma of being held at the vet with those barking dogs. And it should be a good thing. I'd like Johnny to be around to help monitor. So I think three is a great pickup time. Um, anyway, there's your vet update. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Hey, Mark, Mark. You've already had breakfast, and there is a little more there, should you really have the need. Hi. 
Is that stripey coming? It is. I'm not as close as that would make you think, but you get a feel for it. Um, I am going to put some shelves in the attic because the attic has a finished floor but no furniture. And the monster mansion, that one with the pretty hinge chimney, it has like a shelf with bottles on it in the attic. And um, I'm building it up high enough so I can see where to put the shelf. And I think that'll look really nice. And I'm going to, of course put some mini figures in there. I think this floor is going to be orange squares, maybe orange and black squares or orange and lime green squares, but I'm thinking orange squares because there's really no orange up top and the orange is so pretty and it'll stand out against the black roof line. And um, it's coming along, but um, I'm going to pop into Guardian Angel for a few minutes on the way to get Johnny and that's all I've got time for right now. All right, I've got 40 minutes. I'm going to start in the big store, and if I have time, I'll run through the little store. Little Angel being for kids, mostly. I think you guys know that. Although there are a few toys and other kids' things in the big store, too. They had talked about knocking the wall down in between the two, but uh, it had a lot of issues, and they didn't end up doing that. That's pretty cool. I think Michelle would like the vintage mask. No clue what I'll do with it, but it's only $4 and I like it. It's metal, it's pretty cool. You can put a tea light there because it's see-through and it's got a place for the heat to escape. That's pretty neat. That's a vase from Teleflora, but unfortunately it has a little chip. It's kind of pretty though, it looks like an urn. Michelle would like it. A very unique handmade birdhouse, I love it. But I don't, I don't think even with the screw there, they left a way to get in to clean it. This is a, a trash can upside down, but I see a Christmas decoration with lights strung around it and like a snowman head or something on top. Every mom out there will get this one. Mom, really loud. I just wanted to tell you I love you. It's really soft. At the very last minute, I added that for Michelle. I just sort of couldn't help it. Perfect. Ruby says I'll get there at 2.10 p.m. Costco. And it says out parcels available, so I guess they're readying that land for development, but they don't have a clear purpose. They must be assuming with the Costco on the other side of the street that um, somebody's going to want to do something there. So all over town in Garner, there are little sign up for Costco um, little tents. They are really um, trying to get new memberships pretty hot and heavy. Some of the places I pull in for Pokemon Go, for example. Yeah, Ruby missed the sign for 55 back there, so she speaks the speed limit here is 45, which it's not. So she's pretty upset that I'm doing 55. I don't know, somewhere between we know what the sign's supposed to be and we actually see the signs on the road would be would be good because it seems like she only ever updates based on actual visualization. Well, I made it downtown with no problems. It was uneventful. I did message Johnny that we would be picking mittens up on the way home. Well, I think it's going to be good for her to get to spend, oh, three, three and a half hours with him back in the green room before uh, we have to uh, take off for Taekwondo. And I'm going to make cheese stuffed chicken breast for dinner, which means cooking a little bit of bacon now that I can cook in the afternoon without it being a penalty um, on the electric bill. I don't have any cooked bacon. We ate it all already from whenever it was we made it last. Well, we made it back to Fuquay, and uh, I have stopped and picked up mittens, and she is serenading us and ready to be home and out of the crate. Hey, Morris, was you playing down by the creek? My package from Idaho was early. 
All right, I'm gonna get to install the L's. You see that movement there? When I put this down in there, that movement's gonna go away. I need bacon. Were you trying to send me a message with the shirt? Well, you have bacon because I made cheese stuffed chicken breasts and I needed bacon to, for them. So there's bacon out there. Go have some. <laughs> Serious. This seriously makes no sense. That's right. That is the understatement. Rob was being very generous thinking it makes no sense. This is ludicrous. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. <laughs> And yeah. It's far beyond just a simple, well, that doesn't make any sense. No, no. It's way beyond that. Yeah. You gotta watch him. He, said, he was on a roll, man. I have never heard him wow. upset. And I think he was actually upset yeah. today. I, he maintained his calm, but yeah. you could tell he was upset. Normally, he's fair and cool and collected. Oh, yeah. And he was fair, but he wasn't so cool and collected today. Yeah. And I'm right there with him. I am. I told Don, I said, uh... Um, yeah, Rob did a great job of outlining the defense for the oh, Tesla Lord. lawyers. Hope they appreciate how great, a fantastic a job that he did. Yeah, laid it out. I really appreciated that. And, uh, then, you know, I just, the union thing really got me worked up because level the playing field, I do not approve of the government trying to pick a winner. Right. You could ask, actually hear him. He was strangling his microphone. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I am like. I'm. I'm not really anti-union or pro-union. Yeah. But if you ain't on Tesla's side, I ain't on your side. That's. I think that would pretty much sum it. So I got a little bit more done here. Um, mostly this alcove area and sort of understanding what the orange floor is going to look like and exactly where the orange floor is going to go. I'm almost at the point where I can understand how to put the little shelf uh, area and potion bottles that I want to put. So we had a uh, plaid owner, someone that took delivery at the delivery event um, on our Triangle Tesla call tonight. That was nice of him to join and answer questions. Don was on from home and I was on from the car. Uh, if you ever need to light your face up for a conference call, a video call, Go into Sketchpad and make the uh, screen white or half white, half black. And um, that worked great for me.